William Cruller, congratulations. You only get one professional debut. If you can find the words, can you tell us what this means to you and how you're feeling right now in this special arena? It means so much to me. I went walking today in the town centre to stretch my legs and I got a bit teary-eyed, but it was on my own, so it didn't matter. I've been waiting for this day forever. Even when I was 15 and a half stone working on a building site, I knew it had come. And a massive thanks to Eddie and Matt Truman and the team for allowing me to have it here. It's been amazing. I've loved every minute of it. It wasn't without drama. Big moment in that third round. It looked like you might have slipped. Just talk us through it from your perspective. What happened? I think Steve's a referee, but I think he definitely got that one wrong. His bicep hit me as we both tangled up, and it was never knocked down. I didn't feel the shot. I got my cup, and you see, in the round was even. And um, if it's an even round of a knockdown, it says a lot about the round. And uh, the lad said it wasn't a knockdown, but no point in crying over it now. It's done. Go back to the gym and work on things, and uh, I'll be ready for the next one. We know you can switch it. We know you want to entertain. We certainly saw a bit of that tonight through four rounds. As a first show in Will, can you be happy with your performance tonight? Nah, I'm not happy about that third round, but I'm happy with the experience. I thought I boxed well every other round, and uh, I thought I hit him a few times, but inexperience. I was head on in. I heard a lot of people shouting to the body, and I wasn't going for it. I was just head on in, and uh, something I said I wasn't going to do, so it's something for me to work on. You've been a big part of all of Anthony's big and special nights here in this arena. For you, what was the message from Anthony tonight to you, Will, in terms of keeping your composure and keeping you cool? He told me to enjoy it, and exactly what I've done. Like I say, it's been the best week of my life, and uh, hopefully I'll have plenty more. Let's grab a word with older brother and now trainer Anthony Crawler. Anthony, you called this comeback number 75 for Will. You weren't sure if you'd ever see him in a professional boxing ring, but you have done now. He's 1-0 and as a professional. How proud can you be of this young man's journey tonight? Listen, I'm super proud of that and a massive thank you to everyone who's come out to support him, the Mad Bunch over there. He's nice and loud. Thank you to Ed for giving him that opportunity. And um, yeah, listen, William had his troubles, been away for a few years, but he's back now and I thought Despite that confusion in the third round, I thought he boxed well. And um, there's plenty more to come from him, but I'm very proud of the brother, for sure. Let's grab a word with promoter Eddie Hearn. Eddie, in terms of a first showing, can you be happy with that? And like I just said, so many special nights with Anthony. Why is this a narrative that makes you happy as well? You no, know, I think the best compliment I can give is if it wasn't Anthony Crawler's brother and he was someone that we'd signed as a prospect, I'd be happy with a performance and happy with a debut. You know, And I think that's important because you can't just be here because your aunt's brother. You know, I thought he boxed really well. I liked the variation, worked the body well. It wasn't a knockdown. I've never seen Crawler so animated. He was fuming. Poor Steve Gray. I don't know where he is, but Ant was ready to have a tear up with Steve Gray, to be fair. And um, it's just a great story. Great support. You know, Ant had some incredible support here. And that will help William. Because any young fighter that doesn't have the, ad the amateur pedigree needs that support. Needs to be able to shift tickets, needs to have that atmosphere when he boxes. And he's got a great set of fans that have followed him, and now they can follow Will as well. And, you know, like I said, the best, the, the, the best compliment I can play, play is that was a, a performance that I would have been pleased with, with someone that was a distinguished amateur. And I think he's got a good boxing brain. He's been around boxing for a long time. You know that. He can punch punches harder than his brother. That's for sure, pound for pound. You know, and he, he copped a couple as well. He took a few and, and you know, he, he learned a lot from that. So a huge amount of pressure tonight. When your brother's out here winning world championships in this arena, it's a very tough act to follow. But, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of future in this young man. And it's going to be enjoyable. We're going to have a lot of fun. I reckon by the end of it, Crawler will lose his barnet completely. <laughs> Will, final one from you. You made it no secret, just based on what Eddie just said there as well, that you know, you're know you under no illusions that you might have got the opportunity on the big stage because of your surname. But moving forward, in terms of the legacy you want to create for yourself, what's the ambition? Listen, if I entertain, then there's plenty more nights where I'll do that. I might take a few, but I also land a few, and that's what I'll bring every time I fight, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. A new fighter for Manchester to certainly get behind William Crawler. Welcome to the professional game. Congratulations. Well done.